There are often these fads that uh, come up. They're based more on virtue signaling than facts. It's not about making the world a better place, folks. It's about saying that you're making your drink taste like a f***ing number two pencil. (laughs) Question of the day. Before I get to the scam that is paper straws, what is your opinion on paper straws? Have you had to go to a restaurant and request a straw and they bring out that that sopping wet paper that you basically have to to drink your gimlet within three (laughs) minutes? Otherwise, it tastes like a number two pencil. Let me know what you think. (laughs) So let me give you some context here. For some reason, the entire environmental discussion right now focuses on straws. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't really know, though, some of the information behind this environmental trend. Uh, several reasons that it's a scam, right? So this often <laughs> yes. happens. There's a fad within the, within the environmental movement. Yeah. I'm going to explain to you why paper straws are surprisingly worse for the environment, yeah. just like many I'm, hybrids. <laughs> I'm, wondering where, I'm wondering where this came from. Did you read an article or something? I was very like, upset. You off? I was very <laughs> upset about this. I can tell. You're a little motivated I went here. to the keg, which is a Canadian chain, and they offered me a paper straw. Really? And I'm the worst oh, no. with servers where I go, what is this? I said, well, it's a paper straw. Can I get a plastic straw, please? They say, no, we can't. And I say, why? They say, because paper is better for the environment. Now, what I should say at that point is nothing. I would like my steak medium rare. Instead, I say, (laughs) huh, really? Why is that? And then it gets, you know, my family is upset. It turns out well done. You're telling them too much about the super video. Yes. (laughs) So there are often these fads that uh, come up that uh, are meant to, no, this is one fad, but there are many fads. We're going to get into a few of them. No, I'm saying it's not a G. They're they're based more on virtue signaling than facts. It's not about making the world a better place, folks. It's about saying that you're making your drink taste like a f***ing number two pencil. That's what this is about. (laughs) And the paper straw thing looks good on its surface. Although it tastes like crap. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. So let's go through this. Uh, a couple of things that people need to understand about paper straws. Do you know that the whole reason that we've shifted to paper straws, all, it's all based, it's predicated on a survey from a nine-year-old. Do you know that? Oh, wow. Came from a survey from that. a nine-year-old. And guess what? <laughs> that entirely fake statistic used to push a fake narrative that has now resulted in, of course, all these multiple bans and legislative actions, but it's actually worse for the environment. And people are saying, how is it? Let me get, let me get to the nitty-gritty here. Uh, McDonald's just admitted that they can't recycle their paper straws as they would with their plastic ones. Oh, geez. Mm. Which, by the way, is made worse when you, realize, <laughs> when you realize that paper straws require more electricity and carbon emissions to produce and are, again, less recyclable than the plastic <laughs> options. <laughs> Oops. And keep in mind, this isn't the first time this has happened. It comes off the heels of, sty- remember the styrofoam fear mongering? Yeah, the bands? Exactly. Plastic cup alternatives. So we've gone from styrofoam to plastic, and we know that paper is yep. worse than plastic. Well, plastic was worse than styrofoam. <laughs> 20% more carbon emissions. Wow. 50% more electricity to produce. Plastic cups over styrofoam. Would you like a paper straw with that bogus <laughs> plastic cup? No. Oh my gosh. No. I want no. to say I watched Fern Gully. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how That's evil awesome. plastic bags were? Yeah. That was the big trend. Trader oh, yeah. Joe's. Look yeah, at me. Yeah, I yeah. have my plastic I mean, bag and it's yeah. insulated. Oh, By the oh way, is that BPA free? You white privileged asshole. <laughs> <laughs> they all bought this reusable really bags. You off, huh? <laughs> Here's something else. Before we get back to straws, turns out. Multiple studies, not from a nine-year-old, actual studies, <laughs> found that Real reusable work. bags actually have a lot worse of an, of an impact uh, on the environment than plastic bags. Yeah. So you'd have to reuse an organic cotton bag. I want to make sure, let me go to my, my cheat sheet here. Organic cotton. 20,000 times. I don't remember, having, I don't remember using my bag 20,000 times. Mm. 20,000 times mm. to make it even with a plastic bag on environmental impact. That means that you would have to be doing weekly grocery shopping with your white, your symbol of white guilt for 380 years to break even. <laughs> worth it, Stephen. Worth something it, Something else, just something that a lot of people don't think about, right? Because the yeah. vegan, v- vegetarian, before veganism was a thing, that was a new thing, right? Like, I'm a, I'm right. a vegetarian, no. but I'm more of a prick, so I'm a vegan. <laughs> No. Fast food companies, they used, to, they used to use beef tallow. What's the difference between tallow lard. and lard? Do you know that, no, audio no, Wade? Uh, You're knowledgeable. I, I don't. <laughs> You're knowledgeable? Not so much. Okay. Well, they used to use beef thing. tallow in their fries. <laughs> so and then wrong. all of a sudden there was this vegan, this yeah. vegetarian environmental lobby saying, no, you can't do that. Okay, so we use hydrogenated vegetable oils now. Yeah. Which, by the way, do you have any idea? Think of it this way. A lot of us don't. Okay. A ribeye. Look at the fat content. Yeah. The lard. Right. That's what you need. You're talking about look, cooking with fat. Right. right. The marble. Then wings. look at your broccoli. Look at your soybeans. <laughs> look at your corn. Look at the fat content. It's a third of the slice of meat, the cut of meat that you're having, versus zero grams of fat <laughs> usually in the vegetables. It's vegetables. This is a very a labor this intensive, is a lie. energy intensive, and very unnatural methods yeah. to extract vegetable oil, which is worse for your health and worse for the environment. By yes. the way, hit the notification bell if you've subscribed already, because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Join MuggleBlood.com/slash MuggleClub so we can shine a light on the bullshit 
that is yes. everything we're talking <laughs> but about Steven, today. Listen, it has I'm vegetable. more upset about this than Planned Parenthood. Let me roll. <laughs> so another reason here, a lot of people don't think about this waste management. Back to paper straws. The problem here is a lot of people don't consider waste management, and why aren't we talking about it, right? No one wants plastic in the oceans. Show of hands, everyone agrees here, right? Yeah. I hate pollution. Yeah, I get upset. Cool. Oh, I like pollution, sorry. So I need to calm down. I raise, yeah, you need to take a puff. But it has vegetable in the name, Stephen. And now I smoked it too fast and it got bitter. It tastes like hydrogenated vegetable oil. Oh boy, there we go. No one wants plastic in the oceans. It's, pre it's predicated on something. There's a kernel of truth there. People want our environment to be cleaner. Yes. But just like the Paris Agreement, it doesn't matter what no. we do because over 90% of the crap that ends up in the ocean comes from 10 rivers. Hmm. Eight of them are in Africa. Two of them are in Asia. Bill Gee, Richmond, because I like my one. Asians named Richmond, yes, half yes. Asian lawyer Bill Richmond. I want a formal apology. I'm doing my part. <laughs> At least for one of them. I'm, using my, I'm doing my part. You're only responsible I for I use hat, plastic Bill. straws in a styrofoam cup. What? And I take All them home in a plastic day. bag. You jerk. Oh. None of them even come from our continent. Think about that for wow. a second. We could all completely eliminate all of our carbon emissions and all of our plastic use. It wouldn't even make a dent because 10 <laughs> of the rivers that contribute plastic to the ocean, none of them are in North America. Which portion of North America? Any portion. Any America. Take a map, none. point to anywhere in North America. Yes, it's not them. <laughs> or South America for that matter. I, that's actually that's, that's surprising America, too. Yeah. Have you been to the favelas in Brazil? Yeah. It is a remarkably filthy. <laughs> I'm surprised something doesn't go in the river there. But here's the liberals. Know, they know when we're not in a huddle, it doesn't even solve the problem. It's literally look at this. It's literally this Vox headline: <laughs> banning this. plastic straws <laughs> won't save the ocean, but we should do it anyway. No, no, <laughs> no. We shouldn't do it anyway. Oh, they're too honest for their own good here. <laughs> We only make up, what is it, 15% of carbon emissions? Yeah. This is something that people need to understand. If we, again, if we think of this for a second, if we stopped driving all of our SUVs, right? And this is one thing too, if you start driving a hybrid car, which has two giant non-recyclable batteries and doesn't really get that much better <laughs> mileage than a Ford Fiesta, it's right. worse for the environment. But let's assume that this is all accurate to begin with. We completely eliminate 100% of our carbon emissions and drive around our white gilt mobiles and use the <laughs> lithium ion batteries. I have no well, idea, it wouldn't up. make any difference. So enjoy your white guilt soda while you destroy the environment for the rest of us, you hipster ass. I don't know what gluten is, but if I found out what it was, I would hook it up to your veins like a morphine drip. I would be <laughs> shoveling mounds of gluten into your face right. along with the paper straws that you've made me use. We want to clean up. We are just not on board with the sweeping government reforms. That's the issue here. Yeah. Everyone wants our environment to be cleaner. Yes. I understand it, but then you go, hold on a second. If it's completely illogical, this is worse for the environment. We can look at it statistically. This comes from a study from a nine-year-old, and we know that it is definitively worse for the environment, and nobody cares. That's what the headline says, what are we doing? Then all of a sudden, Ted Turner proposing China's one child policy right, right. at the Cancun yeah. Climate Summit, I was there to cheers, doesn't seem so outlandish. By the way, the one child policy, your folks did it first. Let me know what you yeah. think. I just, here's just the thing, it's selfish of me. I just really hate paper straws. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f